Good morning, everybody. It's Duke. Uh, we're going to trash can. We got one of these flip up trash cans. And uh, it got smelling bad in the house this morning. I told the wife I was going to wash it out. And when I took the liner out of it that holds the bag, I noticed that it was uh, cracked down the center. And we were wondering where the stain was coming from on the floor. So we know now where it's coming from. And uh, this, uh, yesterday afternoon, I was working on a riding mower, had to jack it up with this uh, jack. And when I went to let it down, screw started backing out of it. Well, it's got a collar. Let's see if we can get you getting the picture for you. It's got a collar right here. And you see how loose it is? Just on there. So I gotta find out why it won't stay in place. Got a little old bitty set screw in it. That might be why. Got a, a divot in the rod for that set screw to set. I think it's because it just can't get it tight enough. And I think I got something to fix that we got. Let me see. Hope everybody had, everybody had a good weekend. I uh, delivered a couple of, of uh, I don't know what you call it. God, I can't think straight. That's too big, so it's metric. That's what I thought. I wonder if it won't fit. That's not metric. Uh, Maybe that'll hold it. If not, I'll weld that sucker in place. Whoa. Just a drop, dude.
Now, one thing I don't understand is you got two two uh, roller bearings here. But no, no, I ain't. I only got one. Two, two roller bearings. I don't know why you didn't put a roller bearing on the inside. Anyway, that's as tight as I can get it without stripping it out. So. I've got to go through the thing that's going to straighten out. But anyway, I'll let that sit for a little while before I try and try to screw it up. Give it some time to try. And I got this mantis that I'm working on. I hadn't seen one of these in years. But I've got it right. This is the O2 model. Pressure washer I got running for a neighbor and for one of my customers. Whoa. And uh, it, uh, you ain't gonna step out, are you? Anyway, yeah, I seen I had a tiller in the back of the truck. He said, You work on tiller too? I said, Yeah, I told you I work on anything with motorcycles and four wheelers. And uh, he said, I want you to look at my tillers. I said, Sure. So he brought this out and I said, I thought you meant a tiller. Let's see. My back is killing me this morning. Oh. Let's see. I put a patch on that crack. I don't know if it's gonna hold or not. I use some Rubber and glue on it. I hear somebody. Oh. They're building a house right here on the corner. I had to go down yesterday and get a power bulb. I didn't check. He asked me to fix it as cheaply as possible. And uh, so I went down and got a power bulb. Cleaned the filter out. The filter went out all that dirty, just a little bit dirty. Power bubble shot.
Well, my plate and all my power bulbs in there. I thought. Oh no, it's in here. I forgot to take it with me yesterday when I went to the park store. Yeah, I think that one. That was a little bit runt. I guess I could back y'all up where you could see something. There you go. How's that? Yeah. That prime bulb was a little bit shot. I pressed on it one time, it just crumbled. So, charged me $5 for the wrong one. Well, maybe not. And what gets me is they wonder why people order parts online. And then they charge me $18 for a 17 and a half fourth breed of Stratton filter. I could have bought two online for $14.99. Where's the pre filters on? For that filter right there, they want uh That filter right there, I paid $18.95 for it. Now I know the ones on mine are from China, but I've never had any trouble out of it. I could have got two of them with the pre-filters and everything, no problem. Yeah, it's going to be it. Okay. Get me a magnetic screwdriver. Yeah. They're all supposed to be magnetic, but I think some have lost their. I looked up a carburetor on this thing, and uh, the item number, what they say, is the uh, model number. It's right here on top. And I've never heard of such a thing in my life, but uh, it's really the first one of these I've worked on. I worked on two cycles. Tiller before I had I had one I worked on had to work on it before I even get could get it to run. It's brand new. I finally got tired of playing with it and uh, sold it. But I've got a tiller out here that I bought with. I passed a guy going to the scrapyard and he had a tiller, a push mower, and a uh, cart. I bought all three of them $25 off of it. Let's see if it'll suck in gas. I put a little bit of gas in. Yeah, it's still got gas in. This works, okay. Get it over here, let's see if it'll crank up. Let's see. They've got an off and off switch. Where's it at? Okay. I think that's it. No, wait a minute, that's off. I remember yesterday, I was checking fire on it. That's on. Let's see if, if, uh, if the 
keep it up my leg. I didn't even prime it. I mean, choke it. That's how I got it hooked up. Got it clamped to the bottom and the top of that jack. That all work. Now. Get a knuckle. All right, let's see. One and a three quarter. Okay, and it's one. I'm gonna put that in one and a quarter, right there. cable stuff. Turn 
on that. Okay. Eyes on my side, okay? Yes. It's more than likely I'm about to put a few lines on. 